Huh. Wait till you hear the review on the Onda the Boracay Hotel. Okay, first of all, the place is a dump. Okay, according to American standards, it's relatively very close to a cesspool. Why do I say that? Because wherever you live at the end of Boracay Hotel, this is a review, you are living right next to a cesspool. And why do I say that? Because 150 children and adults at one time were in the pool over the weekend, at night, after dark, when I got home from diving. 150 people never used the bathroom or the public restroom, which is not even close to the pool. It's probably 10 meters away from the pool, or 30 meters away from the pool ladder. And you have to go down seven steps to get to it, and it's dark and dingy. No one would go down there. So apparently, 150 people that I sat on my balcony and watched were pissing in the pool. That's why the end of Boracay is a cesspool. Now, aside from the most roaches I saw in the Philippines combined was two since I got here. On the counter, when I went down the stairs this morning to find out why we didn't have water, I turned my flashlight on because the lights were out. Why were the lights out? We had an electrical shortage. Why do we have an electrical shortage? I don't know. All I know is that there is no backup generator at all at the hotel. But there's no backup battery lights either at the hotel. So when I put my flashlight on, about 20 roaches, 2 inches and plus, skedaddled off the top of the counter. Okay, if that wasn't disgusting enough, when you order breakfast, they don't give you silverware, they don't give you ketchup, they don't give you salt, pepper, they don't give you napkins. Now, let's move on to ordering the room. The room I ordered was the honeymoon suite with air conditioning, no breakfast. However, you can get breakfast for an additional 120 pesos. But if you do that, you pay more for breakfast by ordering it online than you would for breakfast if you ordered it at the restaurant. That's another way to stick it in your ass. Moving past that, I paid for a deluxe honeymoon suite. What I got was a common room. Uh, they called it, I had a word for it, but it was the least expensive room in the hotel. I paid for the medium deluxe hotel in the hotel. I didn't get that when I brought it to the attention of the owners, Joe and Joy, on two different occasions, three different occasions. Joe was so tired, he was falling asleep while I was explaining to him I, got, I paid for the wrong room and gave me some bullshit excuse that it was Aunt Agoda, Agoda who made the booking error. So I said, well, they booked me into the deluxe, but I got the common room, standard single, dub, uh, single bed, uh, queen size, not a double bed, not a queen size bed. So I, did, I, I got a queen size bed instead of a king size bed in, in, the ho in, the, in the fucking honeymoon suite. So I didn't get the room I paid for, which was 800 pesos more per night for two nights than the room I got. So I wanted a 1600 peso discount. No. They don't have a word for discount. Well, I had a book another night. I said, well, give me the third night for free. No. You, and it's Agoda's fault. Not their fault. And even though they know that I had a problem, they fucking they wouldn't give me my money back. I asked them twice. I asked her and I asked him, am I going to get any kind of compensation? No, I'm not getting any kind of compensation. Okay, so I'm not getting any kind of compensation. So I paid for a third night anyway because I didn't want to move all my shit because it was close to lunch and I was supposed to be someplace. So the room I paid for was given to another man. So that room was, the deluxe room was paid for twice by two different people. It was paid for twice. Two different people paid for the same room, and they sold it twice. So the room they gave me, they said, here's a room with a nice view. And it was a nice view. It was a nice view of an ocean that is really the dirtiest ocean I've been in in the Philippines. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's the north end of the island. I can't tell you why that is. There's no coral, no coral zone, no live coral. In 100... <laughs> Well, 1,000 square meters that I traversed yesterday and the day before on both days, 
I saw less than three meters of coral, live coral. So the coral behind the place is bullshit. It's all grass and algae. There's no coral. There's no view of coral. There's nothing that looks like coral behind the hotel. So the, they paid for the room. They got paid for the room twice. They sold it once. They gave me another room. When I got to the other room, there was somebody shit in the room. But it was the only room left. So they made that guy go someplace else to another property at 7.30 at night. Okay, now if that wasn't bad enough, what they did was they lied about a go-to booking and then the woman herself told me that the reason there was a mix-up in the price was because they had some kind of special and I didn't get the special price. I said, so give me the special price or give me the money back. No, no refund, okay. So you can rest assured, when you go there, you're not going to get what you want. Now, were other guests upset? Yes. However, none of them were upset about 150 kids pissing in the pool because the other guests were all Filipinos, and they think that's perfectly natural. And maybe it is. I don't know. I don't like to go in a pool where 150 people pissed in the pool, and they didn't take a shower after they came out of the ocean, and they didn't take a shower before they went in the pool. Ha! Huh, tell me that I'm high class. Whatever. So, that's what you can expect. Oh, the Wi-Fi does not work. You have to go to a special place, wherever that special place is on that particular day. You have to go to that special place and find out where the Wi-Fi works. When they serve you breakfast, they don't give you silverware, they don't give you napkins, they don't give you the coffee that you paid for for breakfast. So if you don't ask for the coffee, you don't get it. They don't offer you the coffee. If you ask for it, they'll give it to you, but they won't give it to you without asking for it, even though you paid for it. And they won't mention it so that they save themselves 50 cents. Uh, what else? The bathroom was four feet by three feet. Uh, four feet by three foot six, 42 inches by 48 inches. That was the honeymoon suite bathroom. I'd hate to see what the, the standard room, uh, it was a standard room that I got. Okay, so the bathroom and the bathroom had no toilet paper, no soap and no shampoo. I had to order toilet paper, soap and shampoo. I got soap and shampoo, I did not get toilet paper. There's a million other things. Ask me what else you wanna know about the end of Borokai. Aside from the fact that they rented my room to somebody else because I didn't get there till 7 o'clock. They said they thought I wasn't coming. I said, what difference does it make the first day you cannot rent the room by law in America? In the Philippines, they can screw you anytime. Just like Obama is screwing everybody in America, in the Philippines, they're going to screw you every time you do business with them. That's the one thing that you can count on. Every time you do business with a hotel owner, a restaurant here, or any other businessman in the Philippines, they're going to screw you. So just like Obama, remember the three things. The first thing is if Obama had a son who looked like Trayvon Martin. The second thing, if he had a son who would be like in hell playing cards with the pedophile priest. And the third thing, if he had a son, it would be dead. That's right, baby. Oy vey and shalom from Rabbi Jew Barker in the Philippines, baby. Yeah.